This video is sponsored by LaunchTech USA. Solutions with the power to perform fast and accurate OEM level diagnostics and repair. Visit LaunchTechUSA.com to learn more. Welcome to TechShop's Tool Minute. I'm Jennifer Clements, editor of TechShop. In a recent video, we discussed recognizing and diagnosing misfires. We'll put the link to that video below. Today, we'll dive into what's going on when you have a misfire code for a particular cylinder. This is when you can focus on one of three things, an ignition problem, a fuel injector problem, or a compression problem. Warren spark plugs. Every time a spark plug fires, the spark burns a few molecules of metal off the plug's electrodes. Over time, this eats away the electrodes and rounds off their sharp edges. The erosion gradually increases the gap between the electrodes, which in turn increases the firing voltage required to generate a spark. Eventually, the ignition system reaches a point where it fails to produce enough voltage and the plug misfires. Bad spark plug wires. Bad spark plug wires are another common cause of misfires. After 50,000 miles or so, OEM carbon core ignition wires develop too much internal resistance, which weakens the spark and increases the risk of misfire. High mileage plug wires also can develop cracks that leak current to ground or to other wires, shorting the spark before it can reach the plug. Inspect the wires closely and measure their resistance. Replace any wires that are worn, damaged, do not fit properly, or have resistance that exceeds specifications. If more than one plug wire is bad, replace the entire set. Weak fuel injector. A condition known as lean misfire can occur if there is not enough fuel in the combustion chamber. Lean misfire causes that only affect one cylinder include a dirty fuel injector, an open or shorted fuel injector, or a problem in the fuel injector driver circuit, wiring, or PCM. Compression problems that may cause a misfire include a burned exhaust valve, bent intake or exhaust valve, or leaky head gasket. Leaking fuel injector. An individual cylinder with a rich fuel mixture is not as common as a lean mixture, but it can occur if the fuel injector leaks. A more common condition would be a rich mixture in all cylinders caused by one, a dead oxygen or coolant sensor that prevents the computer from going into a closed loop, or two, a faulty fuel pressure regulator or plugged fuel return line that is routing too much pressure to the injectors. Something else to look at in the spark burn line is the amount of hash it contains. A good cylinder will show a relatively clean line with little hash. A lot of hash, on the other hand, is a product of an ignition or lean misfire. Vacuum leak. A vacuum leak into the intake port of the cylinder in question can cause a lack of fuel. Vacuum leaks on individual cylinders commonly occur around intake port gaskets or vacuum hose connections. Insufficient valve lash, a broken piston ring, or a leaking cylinder head gasket can cause a partial loss of compression. Depending on where the vacuum leak is on the manifold, it can generate random or specific cylinder misfire codes. Flashover or carbon tracking. The most common failure in COP ignitions is carbon tracking or flashover on the spark plug insulator. Although carbon tracking is usually caused by oil, dirt, or moisture creating a path to ground over the spark plug insulator, a severely eroded spark plug electrode will increase firing voltages so much that the spark will seek the point of least resistance, which is either through the spark plug boot or down the insulator to the metal shell. If a carbon track is found on a spark plug, an identical track will be found inside the spark plug boot. If the boot is serviced as a replacement part separate from the coil, the boots should be replaced at the same intervals as the spark plugs. If the boot is available only with the coil assembly, the spark plug should be replaced at the recommended intervals and care should be taken not to contaminate the boot or insulator with dirt or oil. Intermittent misfire codes can be pretty tricky to diagnose, but with great information and the right tools, you can get cars moving out of your shop in no time.